Measurement of Inventory. PAS2 provides that inventory shall be measured at the lower of cost and net realizable value. Okay. The measurement of inventory at the lower of cost and net realizable value is known as LCNRV. So, yung ibig sabihin ng LC and RV ay lower of cost and net realizable value. Okay. Ang initial measurement ng inventory ay at cost. So, ito yung initial measurement. Ngayon, ang subsequent measurement ng inventory ay lower of cost and net realizable value. Yung cost na binabanggit sa initial measurement ng, in ng inventory, so ano nga ba yung cost ng inventory? Meron tayong cost of purchase, cost of conversion, tsaka yung other cost needed in bringing the inventory to its present location and condition. Yun yung binabanggit na cost dun sa initial measurement ng inventory. And ang subsequent measurement ng inventory is lower of cost or net realizable value. Subsequent measurement meaning um, kung anong amount yung gagamitin mo sa inventory kapag nagpresent ka na ng balance sheet pagdating ng end of the period. And kagaya na binanggit dito, the measurement of inventory at the lower of cost and net realizable value is low, is known as LCNRV. So, pinukuha natin yung lower ng cost and net realizable value. So, ginagamit natin dito yung accounting principle na conservatism. And remember, yung, yung conservatism na principle ng accounting. Kung baga parang pag conservative ka, accounting conservative, Nandun ka lagi sa worst case scenario, kumbaga worst case scenario wherein yung mga assets or income or gains should not be overstated. And yung mga liabilities or expenses or losses should not be understated. So, Sa principle ng conservatism, ang assets dapat hindi siya overstated. Kaya kaya nga dito, sabi ng PAS2, dapat ang inventories shall be measured at the lower. So yung mas mababa yung kukunin nating value. Kasi inventories ang pinag-uusapan. Asset account. And remember, um, yung conservatism... Ginagamit nyo na rin yan nung kayo ay nasa topic ng um, Actually, sa basic accounting, gamit na gamit yan Ganun din sa topic ng cash and cash equivalence So, naaalala nyo ba sa cash and cash equivalence Kapag yung pera na nandun sa banko And yung banko na yon ay in bankruptcy di ba? ang cash dapat na nakalagay dun sa banko na in bankruptcy should be written to its estimated realizable value. So, application siya ng um, conservatism principle. And, tatatandaan nyo rin ba sa accounts receivable? Kapag nire-report natin ng accounts receivable, accounts receivable less allowance for the full accounts. So, mag-aaray tayo sa accounts receivable at net realizable value. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin sa inventory. 
lower of cost and net realizable value. Net realizable value or NRV is the estimated selling price in the ordinary course of business. Less estimated cost of completion and the estimated cost necessary to make the sale. So to compute net realizable value, net realizable value is equal to um, estimated selling price less estimated cost to complete less estimated cost to sell. Inventories are usually written down to net realizable value on an item by item or individual basis. So, net realizable value is equal to estimated selling price less estimated cost to complete less estimated cost to sell. So, bakit estimated selling price ang ginagamit? Remember, balikan natin yung sinabi ng PS2. Inventory shall be measured at lower of cost and net realizable value. So, ang tinitingnan natin inventory dito ay yung ending inventory. And, yung ending inventory, kailan siya mabibenta? Kung baga mabibenta siya doon sa susunod na accounting period. Kaya, estimated selling price yung ginagamit as basis in determining the net realizable value. Now, para ma-elaborate natin yung lower of cost and net realizable value or LCNRV, so magbigay tayo ng um, examples. Kung baga meron tayong theoretical transactions. So, let's say nung May 2019, meron kang business. Meron kang business. Nagbebenta ka ng face shield. Okay, let's say ito yung face shield na binibenta mo. So, nakalagay yan sa karton. Nung May 1, 2019. So, lagyan natin ng accounting entries. No? So, ang business mo ay nagbibenta ka ng face shield. Yun yung ordinary course of business mo. Yun yung kumbaga ikinabubuhay mo. Ikinabubuhay ng business mo pagbebenta ng face shield. Okay, kunyari nung May 2019. May 1, 2019. Bumili ka ng face shield. Bumili ka ng face shield at um, 100 pesos per piraso. So, to record yung, to record yung um, pagbili mo ng face shield. So, magre-record ka ng purchases. 100 pesos per face shield. So, ito yung presyo ng face shield. Times, bumili ka ng, let's say, 50 face shields. So, 100 times 50, that is 5,000. Credit, cash. 5,000. Okay. Binibenta mo yung face shield mo. Kung binibili mo siya ng 100 pesos each, binibenta mo siya ng 120. So, may tubo kang 20 per... Um, kung baga may tubo, may, marang meron kang tubo na 20 per facial gross profit mo. Kung baga. And, okay, bumili ka na ng facial, meron ka ng 50, 50 facials as of May 1, 2019. Now, pagdating ng May 31, Yan yung end of accounting period mo. So, gagawa ka na ng balance sheet. And, ang natira sa inventory mo ng face shields, so, so, let's say ito yung ito yung face shield na binibenta mo, ang natira na lang dyan ay 10 beraso. Um, sampung perasong face shields. Okay, gagawa ka na ng balance sheet. 
Ang sabi ng PAS2, ang inventory mo shall be measured at lower of cost and net realizable value. So, ang cost ng ending inventory mo ay 10 na pay shields times 100. That is 1,000. And net realizable value. Kukunin natin yung net realizable value. Okay. Alam naman natin ng face shield pa bago-bago din to ng presyo. Let's say, sobrang dami ng face shield na binibenta. Pero yung demand naman sa face shield ay hindi, kumbaga hindi, hindi naman tumataas, hindi naman nagbabago. Ganun pa din yung demand, pero sobrang dami yung nagbebenta. And nalaman mo na ang estimated selling price na lang ng face shield nung May 31 ay 50. 50 per piraso na lang siyang binibenta sa, um, sa market. And to compute net realizable value, estimated selling price mo is 50. Estimated cost to complete mo, so wala ka namang estimated cost to complete. Kasi buy and sell ka lang naman ng face shield. And yung estimated cost to sell mo, let's say meron kang estimated cost to sell na 5 pesos per face shield. Kung baga sa kada benta mo ng face shield, meron kang, na, meron kang 5 pesos na estimated cost to sell. So, ang net realizable value ng face shield ay 45 per piraso. And yung net realizable value ng face shield mo na sa pung piraso, NRB 45 times 10, that is 450 pesos. Okay. Ngayon, PAS2, lower of cost on and net realizable value. So, ano yung kukunin mong value? Yung mas mababa. Lower of cost and net realizable value is 450. 1,000 is cost, 450 is NRV. LCNRV is 450. Okay. Ibig sabihin, kapag gagawa ka na ng balance sheet ng May 31, ganito ang mangyayari. From cash, kung ano man yung amount ng cash, then accounts receivable, ganyan din, then inventory at what amount? 450 pesos. 450 pesos na yung mag-appear sa balance sheet mo. As value ng inventory. Application ng conservatism principle, bakit mo ire-report ang face shield mo at 1,000 kung ang value niya naman talaga ay 450 na lang and ito ay asset. So, dapat yung mas mababa, conservative or conservatism accounting principle. Okay, another example tayo para ma-elaborate yung um, LCNRB. Okay. Kunyari, meron kang business. And ang business mo naman ay nagbebenta ka ng bawang. And ang pagbebenta mo ng bawang, hindi tingi. Per kilo ang iyong pagbebenta. Bumibili ka ng per kilo ng bawang, then binibenta mo rin siya per kilo. And bawang, yun yung normal na operation ng business mo. Yun yung kinabubuhay, kumbaga, ng iyong business. Okay. Kunyari nung December 1, nung December 1, 2020 naman, nung December 1, 2020, bumili ka ng 20 kilos ng bawang. So, to record yung acquisition mo ng 20 kilos ng bawang, debit purchases, 20 kilos 20 kilos times so let's say ang presyo ng bawang nung December 1 nung bimili ka 170 per kilo so 20 pes 20 kilos times 170 that is 3400 credit 
cash na 3,400. So, binibenta mo siya per kilo din. Hindi siya per tingi. Kumbaga, ito yung initial measurement mo ng inventory at cost. Okay. Subsequent measurement naman tayo ng inventory. Let's say December 31 na. And dun sa 20 kilos ng bawang na binili mo nung December 1, ang ending inventory mo na lang ay 10 kilos ng garlic or ng bawang. 10 kilos ng bawang. And yung cost ng 10 kilos na yan, 10 times 170, 1,700. Okay, application tayo. Lower of cost and net realizable value. So, kailangan mong determine ulit yung net realizable value. Okay. Nalaman mo na ang estimated selling price ng bawang per kilo ay 188. 188. And estimated cost to complete mo, so wala ka namang estimated cost to complete, pero meron kang estimated cost to sell na 8 pesos. Kumbaga sa bawat benta mo ng per kilo ng bawang, meron kang 8 pesos na estimated cost to sell. So, yung net realizable value ng bawang ay 180. 180. And yung net realizable value ng 10 kilos ng inventory mo, 10 times 180, that is 1,800. So, kanina dun sa face shield, mas, mata, mas mababa yung net realizable value. So, ngayon naman dito, ang lower of cost and net realizable value natin ay 1,700. Okay. Paano natin siya i-report Ire sa balance sheet. So, kung gagawa ka na ng balance sheet ng December 31, so, ganito siya mag-a-appear. So, syempre, mauuna yung cash mo, then accounts receivable, then inventory na 1,700. So, kinukuha lang natin talaga yung lower of cost and net realizable value. And ganun din, application ng conservatism principle, nireport natin yung um, ating inventory at lower ng kanyang cost and net realizable value. 1,700. Okay, illustration. Prime company manufactures and sells four products. The inventories of which are priced at cost or net realizable value, whichever is lower. A normal profit of 30% is usually maintained on each product. The following information is compiled on December 31. Ang requirement, determine the unit value for each product applying the lower of cost and net realizable value in measuring inventory. So, very basic na LCNRV, itong illustration. And, kukunin natin yung cost and net realizable value based doon sa available na given. Meron siyang apat na product dito. Given yung original cost, cost to dispose, estimated selling price, and normal selling price. Requirement, LCNRV. Now, sa pag-determine ng LCNRV, ang net realizable value ng inventory ay dinedetermine 
by individual or item per item na basis. So, kung ang, let's say, ano siya, um, kalina kasi ang example natin dun sa face shield and sa garlic ay one product lang. Kapag multiple product na yung involved, ang pagdetermine ng net realizable value ay item by item or individual basis. So, kunyari, no, kunyari, um, nagbebenta ka ng office supply. So, meron kang inventory ng pencil, meron kang inventory ng ball pen, may inventory ka ng paper, and may inventory ka ng, let's say, um, eraser na lang. Ayan. Para ma-determine ang net realizable value ng inventory mo, kukunin mo ang NRV ng pencil, kukunin mo ang NRV ng ball pen, kukunin mo ang NRV ng paper, and NRV ng eraser. So, item by item siya or individual basis. So, gagamitin natin yung um, yung procedure na yon dito sa problem. So, kukunin natin yung net realizable value ng um, bawat inventory ni Prime Company. Individual basis or item by item basis. Now, to determine the net realizable value, estimated selling price less estimated cost to complete less estimated cost to sell. Okay. NRV. Uh, ito na yung original cost. So, kukunin natin yung estimated selling price which is 800. Estimated cost to complete. So, walang given. Estimated cost to sell is 150. Okay. Yung cost to dispose, yan din ay other term ng cost to sell. So, NRV for product 1, 800 minus 150. That is 650. Okay. Product 2, 950 minus 205. That is 745. Okay. Product 3, 300 minus 50. That is 250. And product for 1,000 minus 260. That is 740. Okay. So, meron na tayong NRV. Next natin, determine the lower of cost and net the realizable value. So, pagkukumparahin lang natin yung original cost and NRV. Sino yung mas mababa? So, LCNRV for product 1 is 650. LCNRV for product 2, 475. LCNRV for product 3 is um, 250. And LCNRV for product 4 is 400. 50. Ayan. So, nagawa na natin yung um, requirement. Determine the unit value for each product applying the LCNRV in measuring inventory. So, ito yon. Ito yung ating LCNRV. Now, kung given yung quantity ng inventory, ito kasi walang quantity na given. Now, to determine the LCNRV, Imumultiply na lang natin yung LCNRV per product dun sa quantity na available per product. So, let's say, wala kasing given to na, ano, na quantity. No? So, let's say, ang quantity na lang ay tigi isa. Let's say, merong tigi isa siyang product. Ng product 1, product 2, product 3, and product 4. So, total LCNRV natin, 600 plus uh, 475 plus 250 plus 450 
that is 1,825. So, kung given lang naman yung quantity na involved, ganun yung gagawin natin. And dito kasi sa problem, unit value lang naman yung hinahanap. So, ito lang yung ating LCNRV per unit value ng product. And again, remember kapag nagdetermine tayo ng net realizable value, ang gagawin natin item by item or individual basis per type ng inventory or per product. Katulad nitong sa ating illustration. 